Hello and welcome to Rocket Systems YouTube channel. In the previous video, we discussed how we can create the database, create collection and insert the document using Python programming language. In this video, we are going to discuss the current operations we can do on MongoDB. So we are going to create the document and then we will see how we can read the document back and then we will also see how we can update the document and delete the document. So we are we have we already have our uh, MongoDB database locally installed and we have all these uh, the database created now in this video we are going to create a new database known as test db and we will create a new collection known as test collection now let's first install let's first uh, understand how we can insert the documents so for this video i'm just going to create some random data so let's say i've taken this john name age let's say id is 1 and then let's say class let's say subject which he is uh, that particular student is studying are are in the form of list so in that case we will create a list here and we will type English maths and science now after that let's also create a, a list of dictionaries so for that let's say the test name is ut1 and the score is mm, let's say 71 now let me just copy this and let's say the fi final score of that particular student is let's say 76 so this is the data which we have so this data is a student data where we have the name age id class subjects and all the marks which we have now we want to insert this data so in order to insert this data it's very simple we just have to call our collection dot insert and we'll pass in the data dot inserted id so using this we will be able to insert our data so let me just quickly run this code and if you go back to our database and if you refresh it so we will see that our database is now created collection is also created and we also have the data here so we can see that all our data is present so this is the subject which is in the form of list this is the marks which is again is a list of dictionaries right so this is how we can create the database now let's also just for our testing purpose let's also create another data let's say name is andrew okay so it's saying it already exists so we don't have to we don't have to create the database We don't have to create the database we just have to um, we just have to call the collection so instead of this create collection we will simply mention here get collection and this is also inserted so if I refresh it again if I run this query again I'll see it now we have two data one is and Andrew and one is for the John now this is how we can insert the database now let's talk about how we can read the data so for that we have to write a simple query and that query will be so that query will be collection dot find so we have to find the data and on what parameters we have to find so let's say I want to find the data which in which the name is Andrew right so now this 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 will give me the this will give me the list of all the documents where name is andrew so here i'll simply save this in a list 
I'll save it in a list and then I can simply do a for loop and I can here either print the whole document or I can simply just print let's say the name and let's say the class of that particular student so if now if I run this code if I run this code this will then list me all the uh, documents which has name as Andrew and then we will simply print the name and the class of that particular student so you can see Andrew in the class is 10 which is fine so this means that we can find we can read the data using this query now let's talk about how we can update the data let me just comment this code now in order to update the data so for example we have this data where the student name is Andrew and his ID is 1 so let's see if you want to change this ID from 1 to 2 then how we can do that so for that we will first have to create a create a, a, a value where we will mention what we need to do so we will use this operator set and in this we will mention which values we have to set so for example I have to set the value ID and what value I have to set I have to make it to 2 so this will now uh, this will now set the ID as 2 but for which person so for that I will take the name so for example name Andrew so all the documents where name is Andrew the value of ID will be changed to 2 and then we can simply use collection dot update update and then we can pass our parameter and the value now let's try to run this code and see what happens okay so we have to use update 1 here yeah so now let's try to run this again so this is done now as of now you can see so as of now you can see the this document which has Andrew his ID is 1 but if I refresh this again so this ID will be changed to 2 because we have updated the document so in this way you can update any document by applying the filters and the conditions which you have now last thing which we can discuss is how we can remove the document so removing the document is again is also very simple so for that we just have to um, we, what we have to do is we have to first get the documents which we have to remove so for example I have to remove the document I have to remove the document where name is equals to Andrew I want to remove the document for the Andrew right so in this case uh, I'll run first I will run this query and then from there I will extract the document and I can simply call collection dot delete one and the document so this will first give me the list of all the documents where the name is Andrew so in our case we only have one document which has the name as Andrew so we are extracting that and we are saving that in this variable doc and then we are simply passing this in the delete one function to delete the document so now let me run this code quickly and then we'll see how it performs okay so this is run fine and if we go and if we refresh this we can see that now we have only one document with the name John and the Andrew document is deleted so in this way we can delete the document and this is how we can basically create read update and delete documents from our Mongo database so that's all for this video in the next videos we are going to discuss some more queries of how we can uh, use queries in our Mongo database using Python programming language so thank you for watching this video please click like share and subscribe